today we're going to be working on the lotus flower. Rooted firmly in the mud, the lotus flower grows in murky waters. Just like the lotus flower, we can grow to be strong, beautiful and healthy no matter where we come from or what surrounds us. My mom was pregnant with me while her and my dad were living on Skid Row, getting high, doing drugs. She had me on a couch on Skid Row and she was also snorting lines of cocaine when she was in labor with me in order to apparently ease the pain. I was born addicted to coke, meth, and heroin. My grandma ended up adopting me. She was pretty much my mom. She did everything for me. She was just my safe haven. In eighth grade, my grandma ended up passing away. Losing her was like losing a big chunk of me. I just felt so lost without her. I ended up in foster care. So I was just moving from one place to another. A lot of bouncing around and a lot of uncertainty. I was very deep into my depression to the point where I started ditching school every day, getting drunk and smoking weed. I ended up hanging out with a guy much older than me. And at the time I was barely 15, he was 23. It ended up getting really abusive where I was taken advantage of a lot, being raped constantly and threatened and I couldn't really deal with it anymore and one time it did get very bad to the point where I decided to try and kill myself. I just wanted to just get rid of myself and take myself out of the equation. Ramona has experienced a lifetime of trauma all wrapped into a young life. I can't even imagine dealing with abuse and depression and moving from family to family and not knowing what the next home might be like and imagine being 18 and being launched out into the world on your own. Uh, thank goodness that Ramona chose to come to Hope Gardens. Whatever it takes to turn the life of Ramona and her children around is what our team at Hope Gardens offers. So you, you've been here for eight months. Yeah. And how do you feel? It's a lot less stressful living here. Like before, I was really stressed and really anxious about what I was gonna do. I've learned that it's okay to ask for help. It's still very hard for me, but there are people that care and there are people that wanna help me. Good morning, ladies. Thank you so much for coming today um, to Sister to Sister. One of the great things about being at Hope Gardens is just the relationships I have gotten to build with the other moms here. This close group of moms that I have in my life now are, aren't just my friends, they're, they're more like family. They just have a great way of showing me that, you know, we care for you, we love you. Trauma actually shatters our ability to hope. But the great thing and the beautiful thing is that we have another way. God has given us the answer to this. I'm actually becoming very interested in God and the, the Word of God, and it has helped my anxiety go down a bit and helped me see like the light at the end of the tunnel, whereas before it was just darkness all the time. When I came to Hope Gardens, I came here seven months pregnant, not really knowing how I was going to deal with having a baby. It was such a positive experience from my case manager, AJ, driving me to see my OBGYN, to helping me create a pregnancy plan, to even my friends just saying, I bought you this, here's diapers, here's pacifiers. I felt cared for and really loved and that I was important to people and my children were important. Hi, Papa. Well, give me a hug. Were you good today? Looking at my kids here at Hope Gardens, it makes me so happy because I get to see my son playing outside. It's very consistent for him. There's not that much change. It also makes me feel very safe. He's not going to have to deal with abuse. My daughter won't have to deal with any of that either. You want to see what I did today? You like it? <clears throat> it's called a lotus flower. And did you know that they grow in the mud, Papa? And then they open up like that. And they're all clean and pretty. 
Is that cool? I want to be able to provide for my children and be a great example for them that like no matter how low you get, that you can always rise above it. Even when you're at rock bottom, the only way is up. That, okay, if mom could get through all this, like I can get through all this and I can achieve what I want to achieve.